Yo, welcome back everybody. Today we have an old school favorite featuring a, we'll call it the best hero in the meta. That's all it is, the best hero in the meta. Hook Tusk, showing off getting a hold of early value off of the hero power, turning it into an early six star, hitting Little Rag, a unit that, uh, let's just say, you don't usually want to take in the early turns because it's so hard to stabilize in that point, and then making big elementals work. Huh. Doesn't feel like current meta, but sometimes you get awkward choices playing subpar units, and you make the best out of it. And as always, if you get a hold of enough elementals and they all start synergizing and all the pieces come together, it is a beautiful thing and you get to smash the lobby. Now, with the added value of being on six to take poison scam stuff in the process, because guess what? Turns out big stats aren't usually as good as reborn my exness. Hmm. Who would have guessed? It's almost like every big board on six ends up doing that kind of stuff. Crazy. All right. Enjoy. that too because it was hilarious swing and a miss yet again well this game is going to be hard Shit. <laughs> yeah, but this was a turn 10 board, by the way. That was the hook tusk where I took four six stars on turn six. That would be this turn, by the way. Golden little rag. It was golden nosy looter on the next turn. And then it just shit out six stars. That lobby was over on turn 10. Mm -hmm. Those are fun. That was this meta as well. Sorry for the vague question I meant to ask when you said, I want to go for a six, but we'll take a million damage doing that. What would you not do that if at lower health? I mean, no. Like, how could you really be that much lower health on turn four or turn three when we're making that decision, right? Like the game only progressed three turns there. There's no situation where you have that kind of opener that you would say, no, I can't do that. Because at worst, you'd be at like 33 health, 32 health. I've got an elemental. That's kind of cool, I guess. That was like the best result, too. We only took six damage. But yeah, I mean, depending on tribal bands, you could make some arguments, but not health. Health isn't the determining factor there. I mean, pale scale's a lot of power. Amusingly, we may be able to make elementals work here because of that hit. The fuck?
cool, 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 cool. Damn. Don't buff that one. If I thought he was weak, I could sell this to keep the pair on the board. I think I'm going to do so. It's only turn seven after all. Sorry about the rough start. Love Bob. That was a pretty good, pretty good turn from that position, right? Feels good, man. Dude, this is a huge tempo board for turn seven. He's got a Frank. He's got promo Drake early. Ooh, disgusting. Taunt synergy. At least we're getting some procs. They may not be that useful, but you know, whatever. Okay, 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 okay. Small loss. We can deal with a small loss. We're even outside our range of getting one shot. Never Clover. Sometimes Clover. Damn it. Stop. Stop. I knew it was a risk, but we want to generate the minion first. Imagine doing APM things on a non-good APM her or hero. It's not like it's really APM. It's more like, hey, we got a little rag and that's the best way to do it from here. Ever drop Tavern Tempest before Cyclone? It's a big minion. Like, it's a lot of stats right now. And sure, it's not ideally in a final board, but... It takes a 1 in 7 proc from Little Rag to even remotely make it competitive. And that's like barely competitive at that point. Damn. Somebody died. Alright. Great. Somebody died. And Nomi's not happening. like doing this it's a good hit it's a hell of a hit honestly We look for better. Brand's okay. It's a little bit late. This is okay too. Like, ideally speaking, we can do better. But it's one gold for four rolls. I don't love freezing it. We're not going to keep Domo past this turn most of the time. Like, this is going to go and this is going to go. 
Might want Genie up further. For the death rattle to die. Like, we're not worried about it dying. Need second rag? I mean, we need to be able to play into something. We can't dictate what's on the board. But it doesn't mean we don't take positive EV lines. When they're in front of us. Alright, good. We got a, got a proc, at least. We got a de an elemental off of it, too. That's crazy good. Because we know we have one Ellie off of the Genie. So we don't have to buy from that first board to be able to free roll, you know, after the first gold spent. For that matter, we actually probably hear a powering up a four into a three. And that way we can have the free roll up front. No. get some information no info my exna kind of hard to say no to this right considering where we are in this game Oops, shoot I should have uh, should have rolled before I did that not like it's really relevant we have a billion rolls and we're going to end up burning this gold soon enough Well, I was going to sell the Domo. But now that's looking a little more sus. It's not that strong. I really want to do this. Only consideration is do you keep Domo or my Exna? And it's gonna be my Exna, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. We don't have an open spot for Rattler yet. We can get it in the long run if we want it. I think we're actually just gonna go down a minion. In my mind, that order was fine. And then once I did it, it was like, duh, dude. Roll first. You have the free roll there. Roll twice, then play the genie. And the way I thought it through, once I did it, I was ready to roll. Like, this is what we need to do. The process was in the wrong order. That's funny. Funny to me, at least. Because it's like, I knew what the, everything I was doing. It's just in the wrong order in my mind. Genie's got our back. We'll finally find this fucking little rag. It's only turn 10, guys. Like... The, the matron got us, what, five cards? Six cards? Two elementals? That's pretty good. Some would say. Gotta watch out for the fact that there's a murloc in the game. Like that. Right, this is always going. I know it can get buffed, but we have to take a free a roll that's interesting. That isn't free if we do it that way. No. Yes. I want to use this only if we don't take a six star that we cycle through, like Genie. But I guess we just do it at this point. We can roll upwards of twice. Three times. We can just play for another Rattler into my ex in the long term. We could be dead here is the other thing. It isn't unheard of. We're not going to get two procs here, but I just 
don't really eh, I kind of care about that. We can use this as a bumper too. Why didn't we hear a power coiler? Because it was the bit very beginning of the turn. We don't really know what we're going for outside of Tavern Tempest there. Just hero power at the very beginning of the turn, or you play through minions. I guess you probably should have just started with hero powering Tavern Tempest. I like it, actually. That's a mistake. There's really no reason to leave it to a place where next turn, or later in the turn, we need to high roll to a position that we already had achieved. He's weak? Yep, you just can't tell. Six triples Florgal. How do you read how big that guy is? Did he find poison or did he not? And he did not. Oh, more Murlocs. How lovely. Mm -hmm. Got to move relatively quickly. This turn is potentially very long with all the gold we have in our hand and all the free rerolls. Mm, no. These just aren't worth buying. We can get more value than that off of elementals. Nope. Nope. Alright, well. That sucks. Huh. Finally! Alright, we're gonna keep that for the turn. So we're done. Alright. Yeah, we got a Hamul. It only took till, uh, what, like our fifth turn on, on Tavern 6 to find it? We got there, though. Marika! I just see my name. Bofer? That's my name. Your advice to play or how to play Rat King got me top four, thanks. Congratulations. Getting anything that isn't last on Rat King feels pretty good. <laughs> Look at that. Scaling. Useless, but you know. Turns out Reborn my Exnos are better than most minions. Peppo G. Reborn Myxna is better than Big Murlocs without Reborn. You know what helps at Mosquito Bites? I'm going crazy. I'm not omniscient. I have no clue. Somebody out there has probably got this answer. Alright, well. Our re-rolls are at the end. Anti-itch cream. There you go. That was the one. This is a triple, potentially. It's not a triple. It's not a triple at all. I feel like at some point I skipped a module. It just occurred to me that I should be looking for module. Was it before we got a Malgadon last turn? Or did I skip past the module? Because this pivot is completely away from elemental synergy. Skip the module on the first board? Yeah, like, it just occurred to me. As I'm sitting over here making sarcastic comments. Should have gone for the module early. At me when it's real, not a meme. I have no answer for you. Mega Wind Fury against Death Rattle Beast boards, typically pretty good. That's a poison scam there, too. Makes sense. Goes for the poison scam when he sees his opponent is a big elemental board. Makes complete sense. When we get the win, the question is do does he get to live or not? Well, maybe. over here sniping everything 
but not quite enough. Reborn doesn't work on Amalgadon, right? It brings back the Amalgadon, just not any adapts on it. So you get a 6-6 back, as long as there aren't, like, you know, there's open board spaces for it. Woo! Elementals. Still work sometimes. Yeah, I made a couple little mistakes there. I lost focus.